because I know a lot of you are at different stages a lot some of you have been here for a week or two some of you been have been here for a month but you're still just kind of getting started um, and some of you just joined yesterday so this is going to be an awesome group um, I would love participation um, if you guys have questions just stop me and I will um, answer them for you um, but what I wanted to do is kind of just show you around um, where things are in the partnership um, and kind of go over the new stylist checklist that Color Street has and show you where to find that. Um, so first, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share my screen. And, and first and foremost, just know that I'm always here. Like Color Street is my main thing. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I really don't mind at all. Um, I do have, I decided to make set business hours, which is a really good idea. If you're just getting into this, just focus on it. Don't overwhelm yourself um, by just constantly working. I mean, like in the beginning, you're going to feel like it might be a lot. Um, but I, I think that focused hours, you get a lot more done than if you are just constantly kind of doing something here and there. But it is your business, so you can do it however you want. Um, but if I don't answer you right away, I am gonna get to you within the next hour or two. Um, I just had to kind of like set times where I wasn't color shooting so that I could focus on other things. So, okay. So if you joined, you probably already know about Polish Partners. This is where we add people when we are thinking that they might want to join and they kind of just want to get an idea about you know how um like tutor not tutorials um testimonials from people um we did something you probably know about it a happy hour on sunday and i put all of the videos for that this is the partnership team but for this week i'm taking care of it so I took all those videos, <coughs> excuse me, and I put them in the announcements. So if you decide to put somebody in here, you can just tell them to click on announcements and just click on see all. And they can just scroll right through um, all the different videos and listen to them. Um, so that's Polish Partners. There's me. Hi. Okay. Um, the partnership team, this is the page that you, if you're on no other page, the partnership team is the page that you want to be on. Um, this is the um, big team. This lady right here, Joan Robinson, this is her entire downline. So all of these leaders were all under Joan. Um, in different ways, like I'm under Christy and Lauren's under Christy, but um, once you reach a certain level, you go, um, on the, the heading, which is pretty cool. So, um, building a business is, I mean, like with people under you, it's the most, um, monetarily safe thing that you can do. Like selling the strips is awesome, but selling the business is, I mean, we push that a lot because that's where you, um, you learn and you grow a lot more. Um, but we'll start small. So um, the link tree right here, the first post in the partnership team, the link tree, you click on the link there. And this will bring you to the um, where you can find like the calendar. So the April calendar I have it printed and I have it on my wall. So I always know when these trainings are gonna be. You never, I mean, I am pretty good about reminding you guys about the trainings, but if you have this on your wall or you have this where you work, that would be the best bet. These are all central standard time. So you have to kind of like go up one hour if you're Eastern or wherever you happen to be from. Um, just kind of figure out what times work with that but they were just kind of um, going with central time for some reason color street does everything on central time i'm not really sure why 
um, because they're in New Jersey, but whatever. So this is where you can always find the trainings. The, um, we always have a team leader and above it says, but really if you are a leader, like if you feel the leader mindset from get the get go, like a lot of people do when they come into the business, they're like, okay, like I want to build a team. That's how I was. Um, you can go on this call. You don't have to worry about it just saying team leader and above because now we call it the emerging leader call. It just wasn't changed on the calendar yet. So if you feel um, like you want to learn, get on that call. It's at one o'clock Eastern. Um, the Color Street Corporate Training, that is outlined for, um, that's 12 p.m. Eastern and that always has some sort of good um, training. Actually, let me show you something. I'm gonna stop share real quick. There's something new, and if you were on the Merging Leader call, you saw me talk about this, but um, there's something new on the Color Street app. If you go to, and if you haven't downloaded the app, that's the next thing you wanna do, um, the Color Street Stylist app. But um, if you click on Resources, and then you click on Videos and Video Casts, that is all of the Tuesday trainings. You might not be able to even see that, but it's all the Tuesday trainings categorized by booking nail bars, coaching stylists, compensation plan, enrolling new stylists, events, Facebook nail bars. Like it has everything in there categorized. Um, so it's easy to find something. Like if you're like, you don't, for some reason, you want something other than the partnership. Um, information you can go to the app and find something there and i always tell people i know right now we're not commuting but if you're doing the dishes or something like take some time to really dig into these trainings because if you're not digging into the trainings you won't be moving like you you get stagnant and you don't want to get stagnant you want to always be enriching yourself with new training Okay, so let me share again. So that is where you can find the trainings. And as you can see, it has the um, information for the Zoom, like the Zoom uh, link, but that's also right here. Every time I go to a partnership training, I click on the Zoom training link from the link tree just because it's so much easier. Um, so Zoom training link. And then there's all kinds of other stuff here. Um, this I think is the, oh, cool. Well, I didn't even know that was there. That's awesome. So it's much easier to find that way than to go through. Um, this is the actual Color Street new stylist checklist. This is what I wanted to go over with you. But so you can see like all of the import, really important things can be found in that link tree. Um, the other thing that you can find in there, if you're not already a part of it, is the nail fee group. Somebody messaged me earlier and she was like, where do you get all your nail fees? And I realized she wasn't even part of this yet. So if you're not part of the nail fee group, you want that because we're, I mean, people are always uploading new uh, things to that. And then nail candy graphics, there's a lot of different graphics ones. Um, so you can find graphics for everything. But another thing that's really helpful, like say I was looking for a particular, somebody mentioned before, Made in Milan. I type in Made in Milan on uh, Color Street into Facebook and it kind of, I mean, it shows me all these different nail fees with Made in Milan on it. Like there's all different ways. You can go into Pinterest and you can do the same thing. Like there's all different ways to find things in um, Facebook, but I love the search bar, no matter what, like I'm always in the search bar. Um, and if you're looking for trainings outside of our own YouTube, that's, I just, um, I'm very search oriented. Um, so anyway, okay, so the link tree is huge. Just make sure that you remember that the link tree is in the first post in the partnership team. Okay, so that's where you'll go for pretty much everything that you need. Um, another thing that is helpful, um, 
is the Joan Ro Robinson website. Where is it? I think it's in the top. This is like, um, this is if you've exhausted all other training <laughs> that Color Street already gave you. Like there is so much training. You can never like not find something. So the training that's on the app that you actually get nail strips for and like samples and all kinds of stuff like that, go through that first. Um, but then there's the Joan Robinson website. Um, we have all kinds of documents. We have a video library of Joan um, kind of going through how it is to be a new stylist and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you haven't checked this out, it's it's a really good place to get information too. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. And there's Joan. Um, okay, so we're going to click on the new stylist checklist and we're just going to kind of go through this. Um, yes, I know you have your kits, but there might be something in here that you skipped. So I just want to make sure that you're um, allowing yourself to dream. Like I put on the Polish Partners today, when I started, my dreams were, I really just wanted something to keep me busy. Like I wanted um, a way out of where my mind was going on a daily basis. Um, and then as I started getting into it, my dreams started to come out and I, I realized like, well, this might be something that I can really like, actually, I think because I never really like wrote a dream down and succeeded to make it come true. And with Color Street, that has nothing but happened. Like it's always happening. So allow yourself to just sit down for 10, 15 minutes with a pad and paper and find out what you really want from Color Street. Like from, like when you said, okay, yeah, I want to do this. What was the thing that you thought about that you were like, this is going to allow me to do blank. Or maybe you were like, I really just need money. Okay. What was the money? Like, what were you going to use the money for? And just kind of break it down. And then once you use that money for that thing, what's next? What else are you going to do? And then once you do that, how are you going to feel after that? Like, you have to really connect yourself to Color Street as something that's gonna make your dreams come true. Because if you don't have that focus in the beginning, you might just put it aside and say, eh, I tried it and eh, it wasn't for me. Like you have to really connect and it has to really make like your heart happy when you think about it. Because as you move on, as you keep going, asking for nail bars and stuff like that is gonna get to be like, it's not really that fun anymore, you know what I mean? Like, but if you have that connection, if you have that initial excitement always in your, in your brain when you're sitting down at your desk, it's always gonna be exciting for you because you're gonna be like, I'm one step closer to making this come true. So that is why dream your possible about your possibilities with Color Street is right there in the beginning. Um, get connected with Color Street corporate and your team. So that's why you're all here. We're connecting as a team right now. Your enrollers are here with you. Um, and eventually I'm going to show you all again so we can all just kind of talk. But um, so get connected with. Color Street, if I, for some reason I can't use, I probably don't even need to say this anymore because everybody's heard it a million times, but the text messages don't come to me. I don't know why, but um, if you text Color Street to 555-888, um, you'll get corporate alerts. They'll send you, um, they'll send you things like when things are out of, or when things are going back in stock or um, things like that. Um, Tuesday training links. Um, but the Tuesday training links, since I can't get them there, I get them on the app. 
which is really nice. They have them in the calendar. Okay. Um, follow on Facebook, Instagram, the official stylist group. Get into that group. That's another place where they put the Tuesday trainings. Um, and they also, right now, they're doing the Connect the Dots, which is um, they're having... I think if you are a stylist that hit Circle of Excellence for three, a three month period, um, you, get, you get the chance to do the connect the dots now because they ran out of all the people that were at corporate doing them. <laughs> so um, look for your Color Street Weekly News email every Monday. So if that's going to spam, you wanna make sure it's not going to spam because that is where we find out um, like if a new set is coming out, what the next thing that they're going to do is. So make sure that you're always getting that weekly email and you're seeing it and looking at it. That's like one of the, my favorite parts. Like right now, <laughs> because um, the whole COVID-19, um, they haven't brought out a new strip yet in a little bit, but like those are the emails that where all that information goes when they are bringing out new strips and stuff like that. Um, so join your team Facebook activities and save your enrollers contact information. Good idea. Um, so if you don't know who your enroller is, you better find out now. <laughs> um, and okay, so getting your calendar organized. One thing that um, I actually shared on a meeting earlier is that on Saturday, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I was seriously overwhelmed. Like my my head was in this place where I was just like, I have all these things that I need to do. Like I was kind of panicking. And um, it was because I hadn't, like I had this organizer that I use and I hadn't written anything down. I hadn't like gotten it out of my head. So you, you're, um, what you should do is get an organizer. When you, get, when you feel like that, you need to get all the things out onto the calendar. And you need to realize that when I put it all down on the calendar, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. It doesn't seem like that much to me. So um, when I'm writing things down, I'm also focused on those things. So, um, get your calendar organized and set dates when you want to start nail bars because like I always start them every Friday. Right now, nail bars are like blowing up. If you don't have a nail bar going, um, definitely start asking because they are happening and people really want to do them because like people are just randomly, people that I don't even know, like that are on my Facebook, probably for a nail bar that I, you know, friended them or whatever. And they're posting pictures of their nails being all grown out. And I'm able to jump in there and be like, hey, remember me? Like, I'm the color street rep that you friended like forever ago. And I'm able to help them out. And people are loving it. This is a really in, in demand, high in demand product. So um, try and get some nail bars on the books. The the first two weeks you're in the business, you should have two nail bars on the books at least. Just um, start asking the people that are closest to you, okay? Um, and mark your jump start dates. Jump starts. Where do I have that booklet? Eh. Okay, hold on. Let me open up the jump starts just to make sure you know what they look like. Is it in here? Yeah. Okay. So this is not the one that you see in, uh, you know what? I'm going to show you the one that you're used to seeing so it doesn't confuse you. Let me find it. Uh, where am I? Hang on one second. I'm going to use this guy here. Um, Color Street. EO. Okay. 
So you go to resources and then you go to resource library and jumpstart should be in here. Let's see. Anybody have any questions while I'm looking for the jump starts? <laughs> I think it's in training. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, it's the same one. What is happening? Yes, yes. I just wanted to ask, uh, when you say you start your, your nail bars on Fridays, do you typically start them in the evening when people get home from work or do you go ahead and start them in the mornings? I actually, what the heck? Um, I actually start them, I, the official like early bird starts whenever the person starts inviting. <laughs> so I give them right. the information on like Thursday um, and then they can start inviting anywhere between Thursday and Friday. Um, I just like that day because it's a payday. It's just, I don't know, something that works because I do an early bird special all weekend and then the nail bar begins on Monday. So um, that's why I do that. And I can't find the one that I'm looking for, um, for Jumpstart. Is it in here? No, it's not. Oh, I think it's in here. Heather, are you looking for the one that's in our packet that we get? Yeah, if you guys have it, I don't know. It just, this one. one's confusing. It is this one, Heather, they updated it. Oh man, okay. All right, dang it. You want okay, me to whatever. send it to you? You guys. Or you want me? Oh, you, yeah, bring it up. I'm it gonna. You? I'll just send it to your um, messenger and then you can throw it up. Hold on a sec. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like the way this one's set up for some reason. I don't know why they do that. I guess they thought they were It yeah. separates the. Um, the um, recruiting from the actual um, uh, selling. Maybe so it makes a little more sense for people. Yeah, because they they'll do it goals. separately and try to run it together. Yeah, hold on a second. That makes sense. Sorry, guys. Give, just give me one second. <laughs> so what I was going to say about this while she's bringing it up is um, you want to make sure that you know what dates your jump starts are on. So I'll look at them with you in a second, but I'm just going to show you where you can find that. I sent it to you. Okay, cool. Um, if you go to team and you click on jump start under team, it'll show you the date that you, um, that your next jump start needs to be done by. So she joined on the 22nd today. Um, her, the date that she's doing her jump start is going to be the 27th. Like she has to be, she has to have sold a thousand by the 27th of May. They really give you a lot of time to really get your business going. So, um, those jump starts are definitely attainable. Um, and then your level two jump start, it compounds. So you're already at a thousand something. And then you just need 1500 more to get your second jump start. So, just so you're aware of that, that was always a question when I started. That was probably my question. But, um, all right, let's get looking at that. There it is. Okay. This is the one I remember because I'm old. Um, <laughs> okay, so. Your first 35 days, sell a thousand, and you get $50 product credit. Enroll one, and you get another $50 product credit. So that right there, you're getting $100 if you do both. Um, and the product credit can be used for sets. So you can get like eight sets for that or whatever, or you can use it for the brochures. You got them in your um, in your kit and then you know catalogs, twosies, whatever. Whatever you wanna use it for, you can use it for. Um, and they don't expire. So if you don't need anything right now, you can just hold off and wait. Okay, and then um, for the 65 day one, it's sell 
2,500, but like I said, it's on top of what you already sold that thousand. So you really only need to sell 1,500 and then you get another 75 product credit. And you can even like say your first month you or within your first 35 days you sold 3500 or 2500 you already got your jump start for both so you can do them faster don't ever think that you have to like i'll just wait until the next month you know so that i can make sure i get my jump start just keep going <laughs> don't ever stop um okay and then the the 95 day one is um, 4,000 PV and $150 in product credit. Um, and reach team leader in your first four commission periods. So that's your first four months. And you'll get $100 and it, um, it doubles to 200 if you do it in three months. I did that. It's doable. <laughs> So just realize like this, this right here, that could be you and you could be getting $200 cash in your bonus at the end of the month, at the end of your third month. So really mindset should be on recruiting right out the gate um, because that's where our business really takes off is when we start realizing that we can be a leader and we're leading even just one person right away you know like you know the stuff when you come in like you're learning it already and this is why we're doing this training so that you know like exactly what you would need to tell them but don't ever feel like you're alone whenever new people come in we're all rallying around you and helping you help them so don't ever feel like I need to get my bearings straight. I need to figure this all out before I recruit like anyone because you won't then. You'll be you'll be caught in your like fear state. Don't let that happen. Just do it and say, "Listen, I'm new at this too and my upline said that they would help me." That's what this is all about. We all help each other. We're all a team. Heather? Um Okay. Where, where did that one come from? I know somebody sent it to you, but what's, cause that's not the same one that's in the book here. So where did yeah. that one come from? That is the old one that came in our book. Cause we're old folks here at college. Okay. Right? <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, I'll put it up on our team, on our team page on, um, team kid, just so you guys can see that one. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, I probably shouldn't have even brought it up. But um, cause I know they're like probably trying to visually show it differently, but whatever. Now, you know, um, it's all good. Put it up there. and you can send it to her. The one thing I did want to chime in is, and I, oh God, I hate this. I'll be back in a sec. Um, <laughs> am I back now? Cause I froze. Oh, you're here. You've been here. Oh, okay. So just so that you know, if you have, if you're going to hit your jump start, right? and you have a choice to hit it the 30th or the 31st of the month or the first, I'm gonna recommend pushing to get it the 31st because if you hit it the 31st or within that month, you're gonna get it the next month. So if, let's say by April 29th or 30th, you have a chance to hit your jump start. do it because then you'll get it in May because it comes with your commission period. Mm -hmm. If you end up waiting and you do it the first week of May, you don't get them till June. Yeah. So you're waiting a whole extra month. Yeah. So always try to finish your jump starts within the month you're doing it so that you can get it the next month. Okay. That's just one tidbit that took us a while to figure out. So I'll shut yeah. up now. No, that makes sense. That's good. Because that's another thing that we always tell you, if you're able to sell on the 30th of whatever month it is, don't put it off till the next day, just so that you can be Q by the 10th, because that's our team goal. Don't ever put it off. Just do the, I mean, just keep going. Always selling till the end of the month is very important because it's only like pushing and pushing and messaging people and like getting yourself out there 
till the last day of the month is only going to help you in the beginning of the following month. Because now that person that you sold all that stuff to, they're going to be one of your people that maybe you could get a nail bar from, or maybe you could have them tell their friends and they're going to order on your link. Like there's always different ways to network. Like you sell to one person, you've now pretty much sold to all of their friends and family because they know about you now. So don't ever wait for anything. Um, okay. So we talked about the Tuesday trainings. Um, so log into your virtual office and color street app to do the following set up your first nail bar in your virtual office, visit the color street tra training center for helpful videos and check out the facts and marketing tools in the resource section. So I was just there before resources. So it's all the way on the top resources resource li uh, library. You can search by keyword. Um, there are tools in here for training um, for you. And then there's also like coaching tools. So if you have a person under you and you're like, oh my gosh, I need stuff, you know, leadership, coaching tracker, coaching checklist, coaching guide, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. Um, don't ever discount the company resource center because um, like when people are asking where are the host benefits and we're sending it to them, they could have just come here and gotten them. So what, um, the, one of the reasons that I wanted you here with your leader is because I would love your leader to show you how to get to things rather than sending it to you. So I need the host benefits. Okay. This is what you do. You go to the resource center and you find the um, host benefits under whatever the heading is. Even like I do that, even when I have to go search it out myself because I want to be helpful, but I also want to help you for the next time that you need to find it so that you're not having to search our conversation, you know exactly where to get it. So that's something we're building you up and making you think rather than just sending things to you. So if you're ever like, oh my gosh, why can't you just send it to me? That's why. We're trying to help you learn to build others up. Okay, so the next thing on this, let's see. So create a Facebook group. I'm assuming that a lot of you already have your Facebook groups, but I'm just gonna do a quick um, kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're here on the, okay, so create, and if you're on your phone, you're going to click on groups first, but in the computer, it's create group, and then you name your group, and I don't believe you have to put anybody in here. Um, anymore. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't know what the difference is. But anyway, so name your group and put your upline in there if it asks you to put someone in. Um, your VIP group, I always make them public. Right now mine is private by mistake because I put it private and I forgot to change it within 24 hours. <laughs> so um, I always like people to be able to come into my VIP group and look around without me really knowing um, because I know people are creepers and they're going to come in there and creep a little bit and wonder what's going on in there but they don't want me to know that they're doing it and that's fine by me so I keep my um, VIP group public so you just click on that and click pub public with my nail bars now because of the whole jail thing I don't know if this is helping me or not because I've, I haven't been in jail in a while um, but I've been posting the same things for like four or five nail bars at a time and I haven't had an issue yet and I don't know if it's because I'm keeping them private now. Um, so private but visible so that they can share the link with their friends um, is what I do for a nail bar. Okay. I think there's a bunch of stuff in the chat. I will look at that after. I apologize that I'm not jumping on that. 
But okay, so that's how you create a group. Um, let's see, where am I? Ah, why are you over there? Okay, so enter your group name. I think it even tells you how to do that in the training on your, um, uh, oh, let me show you something real quick. Okay, sorry. This is important because this is a question a lot of people have. When my hostess, um, when I do a nail bar and my hostess is ready to cash out her rewards, what, how do I do it? What, what do we do? So um, somewhere in here, there is a guide. Is it right here? Nail bar guide one party and setup. Tells you exactly how to set up a party, um, post rewards, and then I think it's actually this top one here. Customer order form, host benefits. Yeah, I think it's the top one goes screen by screen and tells you, so those are the host rewards again, so you know how to find them. And it goes screen by screen with the important information that you would need to know. Um, set party status to pending host items. Once you hit that button, there's another button that says set party status to open you can actually open it again. If they were like, wait, somebody needs to order, you can put it back open and they can go ahead and order and then you can go back in and close it. Um, this is all in the resource center, this beautiful tutorial. So this is another thing If people are asking me, how do I have them do it? I'll go and make them find this. And it's like all the way at the bottom in the resource center, just so you're aware where that is. Okay, um, start talking to people. Yeah, that's important. Don't ever shut your mouth, just keep talking. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, start talking to people pretty much means um, let them know that you joined and that you're really excited about it and that you want to start some nail bars before your kit even gets to you because um, I think I had like four started my first day. Like I was just so excited and I'm very like, I have to do it now. I'm very impatient. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and just like hit the ground running and it was uh, very beneficial, beneficial for me um, in getting a stylist out of that too. So they were like, oh, well, like you're new too. And then they see what you're doing and they're like, huh. Ah, that's pretty cool and you can do it already you're already pretty good at it but whatever so um okay so when your kit arrives get familiar with your kit contents keep your two finger testers and marketing tools um i used to make these little cute little sample things with my twosies um now more people use them for um like giveaways and stuff so like if you wanna drive business right away, you can say like, um, with the next three orders, I'll give away three sets of twosies or accent nails, however you wanna call them. And you can use them for that because these things are so much easier than what I was doing before. These you can find in the, um, in the shopping area on the website. So you go to shop and you go to business supplies and this is where you can get all kinds of stuff like this like i buy these like they're going out of style when i get jump start credits from people that are under me because those are the best like when people are getting off having gels or whatever you can just be like hey i have something for you use this buff those things off and you know start with color street unfortunately these are out of stock right now but um, these are awesome. A lot of stuff is out of stock. <laughs> but anyway, and I am like overloaded with, um, I never really saw the benefit of buying the catalogs and using them until recently. Because now like with all the new people that I'm reaching, I'm putting in every envelope, I'm putting one of those catalogs and they're getting to see all the styles when they're opening that package and getting 
they're set, they're like, oh, what else can I get? They're always like, what else can I get? So then they're coming back and ordering and they're just really addicted because they see them in paper, in print, right in front of them. So um, make sure, I, I would make sure to have catalogs. They're really pretty how they do them too. Um, and they have the information for joining and for nail bars and stuff like that in there too. Um, do a live video and post an unboxing of your kit on social media on your timeline. Don't do it on your VIP group because you're not reaching that many people if you're doing it on your VIP group. Um, I'm not like dissing anybody that did do that, but if you still have your kit intact, do it again. Do it on your timeline. And that's why I do my live sales on my timeline because I know I'm reaching people that normally wouldn't have seen it. So I do a lot of stuff on my personal timeline. I don't think I'm annoying people because I know this is something that um, if they want to look at it, they'll look at it. And if they don't, they'll just pass right by it. It's not a big deal. Don't feel like you're like, being so pushy and annoying on your timeline, who cares? Like if they need it, they're gonna, they're gonna ask for it. Um, so get familiar, and if you're not comfortable doing a live, just do a video and post it. And if you're not comfortable doing that, then just like put your camera over the kit. Like you don't want people to see your face, whatever. Put the camera over the kit and just go over what, um, you know, what they look like. But I think that's a big comfort zone thing. Like people really can break out of their comfort zone just by doing that. So, um, okay. So get familiar with demoing, um, putting it on other people. My first time ever putting it on other people was uh, at an eight-year-old's birthday party. Um, Jamie Wenzel, you guys, some of you know her. Um, <laughs> It was at her daughter's birthday party, and I was scared, so scared. I don't know what it was. I was, like, shaking. My hands were shaking. The little eight-year-olds were probably like, what's wrong with this lady? <laughs> but don't do it at an eight-year-old's birthday party. Do it, like, on your husband or your dog or, like, get familiar with the feeling because a lot of people are not going to want to do it to themselves. They're going to want you to do it. So get familiar with the feeling of and how it feels different to put it on somebody else's hands. Um, because the better you do it, the quicker you do it, they're going to be like, Oh my gosh, that's it. And then they last for two weeks. What? Like, it's crazy. It's, it's the most fun, um, reaction that you get every time. I have never had somebody had one put on and they're like, no, oh, well, that's pretty cool. Cool. Thanks. No, they buy right there. They want to figure out how to buy right there. So if you're doing that, have some sets in your purse. That's another thing. Always keep stuff on you because, I mean, right now we can't do that. But once we get out of um, house arrest, <laughs> we'll be able to start demoing again. Okay. Um, so hold your first scheduled Facebook and live nail bars. Um, okay, so right now, hold your first scheduled Facebook party. Um, and if you, I mean, you're all on my team, that's why you're here. So if you need, um, if you're not a part of it already, just type in Heather's mock nail bar dash one week. And this entire mock nail bar can be used. It's a very quick one. Obviously, it's only a week. Um, I started on a Thursday or Friday, depending on how I'm running. And this goes from start to finish, like all the way. So you can just copy and paste everything. Some of the things you're going to need to kind of interject your own, like I have a video of me doing my dishes that you won't be able to use, like you'll have to make your own, or just kind of mix this with what you feel comfortable with and make your own mock nail bar. But that's too much work right now. You have a lot of other things to think about. So if this is something you want to use, go for it. There is also another option. And I used a lot of the ideas from this one. This is the link tree again. Um, the partnership team Facebook mock nail bar. 
this has a lot of posts in it as well that you can um oh she made it nice and pretty now i didn't even see all these things um but yeah there's another one right here that you can and you see joan showing her face show your face in your nail bars you want to make sure that people know who you are so um the mock nail bar that i made is a little bit um not personal so what i'm trying to do in, is integrate myself and my personality and my pictures of myself my face in my nail bars as well while still using this um so that people get to know me as the nail bar goes on because you want people to kind of draw near to you um so that they're interested in joining your vip group and stuff like that um it gets a lot more interaction when they see your face constantly they're like oh yeah there's heather um and i have like like i'll show you one of my nail bars why is that coming up get out of here okay um i have like yeah there's me a lot of my own pictures in here um again just so people get to know me and if you feel comfortable this is the one that i wanted to show you if you feel comfortable make a video make yourself look all pretty and then make a video of yourself doing the um removal this is the removal video this is the um putting them on and this is how to seal them with a straightener and a lot of people have um like looked at these videos like people actually see them and care you know um because it's me and then i have something here that says ready to give it a try order here and i click on it and there's a link right there so it's just a way to put yourself into your nail bar okay what else um i think really that's it color 10 every week you want to touch 10 people new people a week so keep track of that write it down um and just keep expanding your market and even if coloring 10 is talking to 10 different people in the nail bars that you just started um, and getting to know them, chit chat with them via messenger. Sorry. Um, and schedule a time to connect with your enroller every week. Um, it's, I mean, connecting with your enroller is not just like messaging. You guys want to get on the phone together. You want to, talk on the phone and get to know each other. And that's kind of why we're all here together. Let me just stop the share real quick. Um, look, there's a lot of you now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, get on the phone with your enroller and um, just converse about Color Street, whatever. Um, just get to know one another and how you work. Um, let's see, whoa. We have lots of chats here. Let's see. I'm here. I'm excited. Anybody have any questions? I'm looking. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's weird. It only was showing privately. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions about anything that we went over? Hey, Amy. What's up? Oh, did I click that I had a question? Whoops. Um, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> Tammy. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Demi. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I am muted. Okay, um, two questions. Mm -hmm. So when you go into like the partnership and everything and there's documents in there, um, like the new stylist sheet, how do we print them? Like. I can't download it. I can bring it up on the screen, mm -hmm. like a web, but I haven't been able to actually download it. On your phone or your computer? My computer. computer right, okay. Um, share screen again real quick. So you're talking about Joan's website, right? Yeah. Okay. 
they print for me. Let me see. Stylus document. Um, organizational charts. I'm going to go there first because you guys are going to want to fill this out. Um, even your first day. I don't care. You get that filled out. No. Um, these are huge. Um, oh, yeah, I don't think I went there. I went to a different place. It was okay. a link. So, okay. Thank you. Yeah, just go to stylus documents and then click on it and there should be a little print thing up here, depending on what kind of computer you have too. Okay, um, then I have one more question. Yes. Um, you showed the, the four videos there and in yeah. the bottom right hand one, you had the link where you click on it and it takes you to the, how do you put the link in there to make it active like that? Oh, um, you, if you click on the actual picture, you click on edit right here and it lets you edit um, the description and you just copy and paste it. Okay, it? I that. yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that. I yeah. usually do everything on my iPad, so. Oh, the iPad, no. <laughs> I'm the worst. I am like so against iPad. <laughs> Every, every time somebody says iPad, I'm like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this is one that doesn't have one. Just me. Hey. Okay, hold on. Yeah, and it just, you just click edit and add description. Okay. But I don't know how it works on the iPad, I'll be honest. I'm not really good with that whole thing. Um, okay. I've tried to help people with it before, and I'm, I'm against all iPhones. But yeah, do it on your computer. I mean, you could even like set this up like this and then just go on your computer and do it that way. Okay. Um, but let me show you the compensation plan real quick. Okay, just really quick and then I'm done. Um, so right now you are stylist. Um, every month we start over. So I am a senior director, but come the 1st of May, I will start again at Stylist. What's different is that I have people under me that um, are hitting their goals and then I'm constantly jumping up. So I just don't want you to freak out that you're making, you have PV there now, and then the first of the month you're gonna see zero again. That happens every month. And for me, I see it as, it's just, I, I know it's gonna happen now, obviously, but it just makes me work that much harder. Like I need to get back to what I was. Um, so right now, stylist, when you um, bonus qualify or sell 300, you become a BQ stylist. And then um, obviously you're making 25 to 35% of your commission. Um, so when you're just a BQ stylist, you're making 25% of the money that you sold or the, um, the PV that you sold um, in your Thursday paycheck. Anything above 25% is going to go into a bonus at the end of the month that you'll get between the first and the fifth of the month, okay? So there are certain levels that you hit. Um, so once you reach 600, you're gonna get an extra 3% on that whole 600. And then all throughout until you hit $1,199, you're gonna be getting 3% of that in your bonus at the end of the month. Once you reach 1,200, you're gonna get 5%. So this, um, is another, this one doesn't compound. So like it's 3% and then 5%. So when you get over 2,400, you're getting $240. Just think of it that way. You're getting $240 extra in your bonus at the end of the month if you get to 2,400. So that'll just uh, be an easier way to think of it. Okay, anybody that you enroll, this is the E1 right here you are getting 3% of their sales. And because they're on your level one, you're getting another 
So you're at 6% of your enrollees sales are yours. Okay. Um, as you move up, you get more. So once you reach senior stylist, which is the chart that I showed you before, look at that. I have it. Once you have hit your 300 BQ and then your two people under you hit their 300, your senior stylist, um, provided that all of these things are in line as well. Okay. So once you hit senior stylist, you are getting, again, still the 25% commission every Thursday and the extra 10% if you get up to 2,400. Um, and then you're getting your E1, which is the people that you enrolled and you're getting 3% on them again there. And then anybody that they enroll, even if you're just senior stylist still, you're getting an extra 3% on their sales, okay? And then when you hit team leader, it's even better. You get 3% and then you also get 3% of the, um, actually, yeah, 3% on the people that you enroll and 3% on the people that your people in, uh, that your first line enrolls. And then you're also getting 3% for them here and 3% for them here. So that's 6%. It starts to get confusing. I apologize. And then if the people that were under you happen to um, enroll somebody, you get 3% on them. So team leader, we're always trying to build you to at least team leader because that is where you make the most commission um, for, and you get it, all of this that I'm talking about at the end of the month in a big old check. I mean, it's crazy. You don't, you might not think that you can do it, but you can do it. It's insane how, this stuff starts to build. And once you get like one or two people and the energy starts to get exciting on your team, it happens fast. It's insane. So, okay. Anybody have any questions about anything there? Demi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you put your finger there. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Um, Sorry. The, or PV that it says in there. It, when you were showing that, there was a thing that said capped PV. Lori, do you have a question? Oh, yes, I did. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I, I was hear you. trying to pull the board down to see if I was unmuted. Um, uh oh. This is. What did I do? Wait, start Hello? again. I had everyone muted. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Heather, um, <laughs> this is my first nail bar. Mm -hmm. Now, Kim, you know, as, is doing the nail bar. You know, Kim. Mm -hmm. Now, when it says, you know, the, what the hostess, you know, the host of the nail bar gets, mm -hmm. does, um, do you include that in your sale? Like, do you close the nail bar, then she gets it? Or do you leave it open, she gets whatever the commission is, you know, at the percentage off, you know, her, her order, um, and then you close the nail bar, right? Like, when do, how do I tell Kim to, okay, this is how much you're getting, so okay. you know you have to order it like so when did you order? <laughs> that's okay once the nail bar ends like your um however you're doing the nail bar if it's going to be a week or whatever the link can actually stay open for two months so what i do is i end the nail bar so i'm not posting anymore in their actual facebook nail bar mm -hmm. but I leave the link open for like another week, seeing if anybody needs samples or they want to try it or whatever. Um, and then when, you know, they, they haven't been telling me lately that somebody's ordering or whatever, I just kind of like let them decide when they're ready to order. Um, but I'll let them know, you know, if it gets to be too long that they can go ahead. But what so I was showing to order you order within that six that that two months. So you don't really actually even have to order within that two months. Um, what I could show you here, I'll show you a nail bar. <clears throat> Let me share screen again. 
um, what I was showing you here, I have so many windows open now, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the VO just because I know where to find it. All right, so go to resource library. Mm -hmm. Ah, where am I? What is that? Why did that come up? We're not supposed to be able to vote. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the 22nd. We can vote. I didn't vote yet. Did you guys vote? <laughs> no, yeah, I was doing it. this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to do that. Okay. Um, resource library. Yeah, bottom mm -hmm. of the page. Yeah, and then go all the way down to where it says nail bar. Where is it? It's like almost. It's, yeah, yes, there, we go. Down. there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then look at the um, host rewards. It's the first one here. Mm -hmm. And it'll show you what you need to do, but I'll also show you. What happened? Eh. Oh, it didn't load or something. Come on. Yeah. I have too many windows open, probably. <laughs> okay, well, at least I know where to go. Yeah, oh, so this like outlines everything. Like you could even print, print this and see. So it'll show you, um, once people start buying, it'll show you the number here, and then it'll show you how much they're getting, and then how much that monetary amount is here and how many half price items. And then what you would do when your nail bar is over is set party status to pending host items. So I'll show you what that really looks like on a party that I have going. Okay. So right here, she's got $327 in sales. Her, she got free shipping. She got half price items worth three and um, she's got 15%. Her nail bar is still active. But what you would do is you'd click on Manage Party, and you would set par party status to pending host items. So once you do that, then you can tell Kim, okay, now go to um, type in VO, dot colorstreet.com and log in with your login information and it'll bring her to her um to her back end thing and she can just click on it and she'll do everything the way that it shows here oh There's kim kim um actually logs on then right yeah okay, so using my sign on button, once you hit that button that I just showed you, yeah. it'll be her turn. She'll she'll do all the rest of it. She'll just log into VO and um, it's kind of, it's like letting them have their own virtual office before they have a virtual office, that kind of but thing. She only sees her party or she sees every other party's, all the, all the orders? Just her party. And oh, then okay. like if she ends up having another party or something, mm -hmm. then that party will be there from right. way back when or whatever yeah oh so, okay okay i'm glad okay. you asked that and she orders one. okay yeah cool excellent hey ladonna i have a question about um when okay so they have the thing that mentions if if your host hostess gets another hostess out of her party they get credit towards that do both host the the current hostess and the new hostess both have to get 300 to qualify that or what is the qualifying factor there um 150 for the first hostess okay so she at least has to have a qualifying party okay and then you would click like if if my girl had somebody that booked a party um, I would click, I would be in her nail bar and I would click book another party from hers and right. that's how they, that's how they connect the two. Okay. So the original hostess only has to get 150 to get that credit, but the new hostess has to get 300. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
No, so the new hostess has to double? Well, the new ho this is just like um, they're giving you an incentive to tell people during the nail bar. Um, I mean, I don't even, to be honest with you, I don't even advertise that. Um, I used to, and it just confused everyone. So I don't advertise it. I just, if it happens that it might be a situation that might happen, then I go to each one individually and I tell them, um, you know, you're gonna, your, your friend, uh, may decided to have a nail bar. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna book it from yours. And if she ends up selling, uh, 300, then you get to spend $25 at her party. And the way that that works is they, um, they would literally go to their friend's link. So May's link and click on it, start to shop. And then when they check out, it'll have a little button where they can click and it'll say use $25 credit. And then so however they want to use it, if they want to do a buy three, get one free and get $25 off of it, or if they just want to pay nothing and only get two sets or something like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have questions? Okay, hey, Heather, I have to, I have to bug out, but okay. thank you so much. This has been so informative for me. I didn't even know that I was supposed to be on Team Kid or that oh. I was supposed to join all this other stuff. Oh, okay. So I did not know. That's why everything is so slow with me. So no, if any okay. things will pick up. All right. So Sounds good. Cool. Awesome. Thank all you right. so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Right, you too. Bye. Any other questions? I really have a question this time. <laughs> Oh, there you are. <laughs> What's up? Um, so you mentioned doing your live sales on your personal page and not in the VIP page. Mm -hmm. uh, won't like say we do like a like a ten dollar sale or anything like that. Will we not get in trouble now for doing that on our public pages? No. So what I do is because I've been. Um, doing it on my personal timeline, I'm using color street pricing. So okay. I'm, I'm covering the shipping and the taxes, but I'm not advertising that. So I'm pretty much just saying like, um, the color street price, I'm making sure that I say the color street pricing is, um, is what the pricing is. And then they just kind of find out later that I'm covering the tax and shipping and um, I send them like little goodies, like twosies or just something to make it a little more fun. Um, but another thing that I noticed, and I've known this, but um, it just kind of, I'm trying to figure out now what to do. I have some girls that didn't really, they, they used Color Street a little bit when I switched over um, from the other company I was working for, Paparazzi. They were big on my Paparazzi sales. They loved being like live in the live sales and everything. Um, so now they're excited that I'm doing lives, but they're also sending me what they want and having me order it. And I'm like, so I had a talk with one of them and I was like, listen, I'm like, I have stock and I want to sell it, but I am not, I like, I'm only saying this to you because like, you're my friend. I'm like, I'm not going to be catering orders. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't benefit me as much because the stock that I have, I got for free, you know, through my VIP group and everything. Um, and I make an investment, but I'm not just going to constantly be buying stock for you guys just to, because she didn't even realize like it was just that kind of a thing like she didn't get it she was like so but when I order with you it's like $36 when I order online it's like 40 something and I'm like I know because I'm being nice and covering the shipping and everything because I'm not having to buy the stock so but I said if I'm not going down the rabbit hole where I feel like I have to have new stuff every week for this <laughs> So, just so you're aware of that too, that that's like a 
thing that they expect, you know? I just wanted to make sure, like, we didn't get in trouble for doing the sales yeah. on our personal pages, so. Yeah, I mean, it's so much fun. Like, I love doing the live sales, but definitely make sure that the pricing is color street pricing if you're doing it publicly. The other thing you can do is do it privately in your group, um, but your group has to be private. And then you can do like whatever sale you want. Just It just can't be on like a public forum. So like our Facebook groups are public forums. So you could do it privately in your group, make sure that you're on private, and make sure that everything is taken off before you go back to being public. And what was the other thing? Oh, and you have to make yourself public again without within 24 hours or you're stuck private. Like that's what happened to me. <laughs> so I'm like, eh, nobody's seeing my stuff. But oh, um, okay. I can leave it on private because that's a lot of back and forth. So oh. okay. <laughs> that works yeah if you do a lot of flash sales and stuff just keep it private um anybody else hey heather it's alicia i have a question yes when you're doing the live um sales on your personal timeline are the people that are in your vip group they can't see it unless you're friends with them right you, like you can't right. share it in both you could go and share it um and then they might friend you during it. You could, sh you could, um, yeah, go in and share it to your VIP group. Um, oh, do like a watch on. party. Yeah. Okay. Um, as long as your, um, as long as your personal Facebook is a public Facebook, like you're not like I only show my friends, um, like what's going on in my life or whatever, um, then it it will be able to be seen by the people in your VIP group that are not your friends if you share it there. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So you're going to do live sales? Yay. Yeah, I saw cool. um, a video somewhere of somebody doing it. I didn't, I didn't really understand it before. And then I saw <laughs> somebody do it. I was like, oh, that's so much fun. I want to do that. Yeah, it is fun. I have like all these, um, I put this thing together. Oh, there's my book that I was looking for before, The Road to Success. I I have like all these different um like prizes that I put in envelopes. I mean, I just do it this way cuz it's easier than like and I like buy one for my stock and get one free. Like I have all these different prizes that they can win during the thing. Um and if they buy two bundles so it would be two buy three get one freeze because I'm going by the color street pricing they get to pick from the wall I stick all these on the wall with tape um they get to pick from the wall and then I also I have one um of the sets in my stock here has the it has a thing that says the prize wall on the back so if somebody buys it, then I'm like, oh, you won, you know, you won the prize wall. So then they get to pick something. It's just a fun way to like liven it up and make sure that people are buying stuff. Usually I put that like in the beginning and if people don't pick it, I'll actually take it off quietly and like put it on another one <laughs> because I want people to be excited and like buying stuff, you know, but okay. I love that idea. Yeah, it's fun. I like thought of that as I was typing what I was going to be doing for my stuff. I was like, Ooh, that's a really good idea. Uh, so anyway, Samantha, you have any questions? No. Okay. Victoria, Melissa, I see you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't see you. All right. So I guess we're done. Um, thank you all for being here and please know that I'm always available. Um, like I said, I have business hours now, so if I don't answer you, I will within, you know, an hour or two. Um, just trying to kind of get me, um, not so color street all the time. It's hard for me because I love doing all these things. So I find myself, I'm constantly like, this, or I'm sitting here doing something and then 
So I am doing my best to like separate myself because I have too much fun doing it. It's not for any bad reason. It's just, I need, I need the time. So hi, Melissa, what's going on? <laughs> all right, cool. I'm glad you were all here and I hope this was helpful and please reach out to me if you need anything. All righty. I will talk.